to understand the recent attacks between Israel and Palestine, these Palestinian women living in Louisville say we need to look back to 1948, the Arab-Israeli War, when the state of Israel declared its independence in land formerly occupied by Palestine. Yeah, my family, along with hundreds of other families, were evicted in 1948. Madwa Assad, Danya Talib, Lean Abu Zayed, Afnan Ismail, Zaina Alwi. They could all tell you their own versions of the same story, eviction and refuge. My grandmother died in a country in which she sought, sought refuge, having never returned to the country in which she was born in. Fast forward to today and Naran, who lived in what she calls occupied Palestine land, witnessed heavy military presence in her family's community. I have to go through a checkpoint to like visit like a mosque in my own city. I have to show proof of ID. Like you would see soldiers like circling around like my grandparents' neighborhood and they would like go in and like interrogate my uncles. And it's just, it's not a type of living that you want to endure. These women share their stories not to justify current attacks from extremists or the state of Israel, but to provide context. Not necessarily are we victims, but we have been victims of like war crimes and atrocities. Today, violence continues to impact both Israelis and Palestinians. Louisville Students for Justice in Palestine will take to the streets Sunday in support of the place they call home. While Matt Goldberg from the Jewish Federation of Louisville says fighting on both sides needs to stop. The actual fighting, the physical fighting, the uh, Israeli attacks on Gaza, the uh, Hamas attacks on Israeli civilians, uh, everybody really wants it to stop and wants it to end. These countries edge on the brink of war, while generations of trauma connect to children and grandchildren here in Louisville. For the WHAS 1119, I'm Tom Lally.